Yo, it's me, Chris, and today I'm wearing this black tank top. Why, you might ask? It's because it's hot! And I'm dying out here! I'm with this guy. Hey, it's me, Curtis, a.k.a. King of the Spears, a.k.a. Woo! Bill! Ah! Difference, a.k.a. Chubby Ray himself in the flesh. I'm the guy your mom keeps mentioning. Hi, Mom. Today, we are going to be doing something that's considered the hardest task on this planet, which is... Watch a movie. Cool. What movie are we watching? We're going to be watching Coach Carter. It was the winner of the Patreon poll this week. We did sports movies, and I picked four movies of different sports. And that's the one that won, which is also a recommendation from the head Bubby. Woohoo! Kyle! Kyle! He's so handsome. Oh my god, he's so short. Oh my god. But yeah, that's the one the Patreon poll. We love you, Patreon. You're wonderful, beautiful, incredibly amazing people. And I appreciate you every day. And hopefully, because of you people... I can maybe do this full time and quit my job. Hooray! Woohoo! People who are equally as awesome and show support to the channel are those who are subbing to the Octocruel channel. You guys are some of the greatest people on this planet. Everybody loves you. Everybody thinks you're the hottest thing around town. And guess what? They're right. You are. But then we have those of you who are not subbed to the Octocruel channel. You are completely the opposite of these individuals. You are not the hottest thing around town. In matter of fact, you're probably the ugliest thing around town. People spot you from a mile away, not because you look great, but because you're so damn ugly. And if you want to change the ugliness that you have within you and outside of you, you can sub to the Octocruel channel right now and all the ugliness will fade away from you and you will become beautiful once more. That's pretty much it. Now that note, we're going to watch some basketball movie. I like basketball. I also like Samuel Jackson. Wow. What a great combo. <laughs> yeah. Wait. It is, what it is. is that DMX? Is that DMX? Oh. Oh. We love DMX! Ty Crane, who they recruited just last year, is widely held as the next LeBron James. The next LeBron?! Yo, that's a lot of pressure to have. That's it right there! Woo! Okay. God damn. I knew it! I knew it! Oh no. Oh, no. The team looks already in shambles. What the was that?! What is he jumping for? A ghost? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, bro, you're outclassed as hell. Ooh! Goddamn! Uh oh. Fight! What it feels like to be the next LeBron James. Hey. LeBron James? I'm the only Ty Crane. Woo! That's what you like to hear. As I told you, it's time for me to step down. Losing's hard, sir. I can't get them to show up for school for practice. Oh, that's even I worse. I can't get parents involved, and I'm done chasing kids in the streets and pulling them into the gym. What the hell? Coach officially offered me the job tonight. The clock's ticking. <laughs> Team, it's so bad. Those boys are so angry and... I'm disciplined. And besides, you know, you don't have the time. Exactly. I don't have the hell, I don't have any time. And you promised to take your girlfriend to Mexico in January. And I'm definitely keeping that promise. So when do you start? Oh. She knows. She knows him too well. Well, then I'll just go to Richmond and play for you. No. Dad, you've always been my coach. This is a great school, Damien. Put you in a great position for college. Dad, I'm a freshman. Just because I'm coaching at Richmond doesn't change our plans for your future, all right? Damn. Ugh. He just wants to spend time with Pops, dude. Good afternoon, young man. I'm your new basketball coach, Ken Carter. Oh, we hear you, dog. But we can't see you. The glare from your big black ass head is hella shiny, man. Oh, oh, damn. oh you got jokes to go along with that ugly jump shot of yours, huh? <laughs> if you need to know my credentials, as Coach White said, they're on the wall. They're behind you. Ooh, ooh. God damn. How many games did you guys win last season? Like four wins, 22 losses. Oh, they're garbage. I'm going to give you contracts. Contracts? If you sign 
and honor your side of them, we are going to be successful. Are you some country church nigga with your tie on and all that? What you should both know is we treat ourselves with respect. We don't use the word nigga. Can you believe this uppity Negro, sir? <laughs> Damn, the disrespect. Bro. Okay, Mr. Cruz. Leave the gym right now before I help you leave. Ooh. Nigga, I ain't scared of nobody. I would lay your ass out. I don't think so. Jesus. <laughs> what an absolute loser. Damn. Coach can throw hands. To the baseline! This guy's such a good voice that he, when he yells, man. Yeah, it's very commanding. I presume you all know what suicides are. So. What the f What's that half-ass suicide there? I saw the St. Francis game the other night. You all had a problem getting up and down the court. Mmm. If you give me attitude, you will do push-ups. So you can push up or shut up. <laughs> Let's see how many you can do in one hour and seven minutes. What? Fellas, wow. don't make me commit homicide. I said suicide. <laughs> Put your hands on the line. Two of you, one of me. Now that's special. <laughs> oh, God. That's special, Ed. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, I got something for the baby today. Baby? Hey, we got them shoes. He's not ready for this. Nobody is at that age. Sir, you're 20 minutes late. That's 10 suicides for the whole team. 250 push ups for you. Ooh. This ain't the track team, man. Nor is it the debate team, Mr. Lyle. But you're right. <laughs> Bullshit. Ding, 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 ding. Good answer, Mr. Battle. Because you gave such a good answer and you gave the coach attitude, you win the bonus prize of 500 push-ups. And would you like to go for the grand prize of 1,000? No, sir. Oh, Jesus, dude. Well, he's not someone you mess with, dude. Now, 2.3 is just a C plus. It shouldn't be that hard to maintain a C plus. These boys are student athletes. They gotta wear coat and ties on game days. They don't own ties. You gonna supply the ties? Oh, we too good to shop at the Goodwill and Salvation Army? Is that it? Yeah, I ain't that broke. If you wanna play basketball on this team, these are the simple rules you have to follow if you want to enjoy that privilege. Damn. I kinda like that. Yeah, like just he... gets up and leaves and lets them deal with it. Not like that, but he turns down every excuse they throw up at him. Yep, he has always has a solution for their excuse. If I'm one of the top students at Richmond, I mean one of the top in the whole school, and I have great SATs, I can go to any college in the country. I'm asking you to trust me. It's hard to say no because he's so dedicated. Not even that, but his son's already a winner. 3.7. Oh. And you will earn every minute of playing time. Wow. Like, he purposely makes his own standards to be at a level that are insanely high. Yep. Oh, he is so out of place here, man. He looks too good to be here. He's got the suit. He got the tie, man. Yeah, he's going to get bullied. Oh, 100%. This is a new player, Damian Carter. He is my son, and he is late. Get changed in the locker room. Do your suicides on the far side of the court so as not to disturb us. All right, gentlemen, give me two lines. Yep, you have to okay, be fair. Sirs. Everything I know about basketball, I learned from women. I have a sister. Her name's Diane. She was always on my case about every little thing. Matter of fact, she still is. <laughs> I kind of like that. In mm. order for them to kind of like play different forms of defense, you just got to call up girl names. Yeah. It's actually really smart. But what did we do in practice, Mr. Stone? Run. That's right. So what do you think I want you to do on offense tonight? Run. Correct again. Yo, what a smack! You swear that guy's playing volleyball, man. Yeah, <laughs> he just right? sliced the shit out Holy of it. crap. Woo! Okay. We kind of clean with it. 
Carter, you're in. Well, coach, he a freshman. You want to coach? Whoa, <laughs> damn! <laughs> Take a deep breath, guys. Those guys are exhausted. That's why this guy's gonna miss that free throw. They don't train as hard. One, two, three. Yeah, the cardio makes a huge difference. Woo! God damn! Oh, man, the teamwork is on fire. Damn, that was a fast victory. Well, come back. That was the worst game I've ever seen in my life, man. I thought that shit would never end. I was dying up in the bleach. Why didn't you die then? Damn, dude. Yeah, on the real, Hercules is weak, B, and y'all barely beat him. Man, why you throwing salt, man? Yeah, man, why you downplaying the victory? Get out of here. Dude, what a hater. Yeah. He's envious. Yeah. He can always go back. Oh, 100%, you always can. You can redeem yourself. But in his mind, he thinks he can't. Okay, Mr. Crew. Before you can play on this team, you owe me 2,500 push ups. And 1,000 suicides. Damn. Oh, and they must be completed by Friday. Finishing that by Friday. Oh, God. Oh! And what day is today? Let's warm up. Give me a layup line. Let's go. Battle. There we go. Damn, how many sisters he got? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> For real. <laughs> It's a good test for uh, dedication. Yep. Whether he completes it or not, if he just sits in it and keeps going. You know your task is impossible before Friday, right? <laughs> Move! Start. As soon as you're tired with the upper body, start working the lower body. Yep, that's it. Just gotta alternate between the two. God damn, dude. That, that is, uh... That is tough. Mr. Carter, how are the boys? Oh, they're great, man. I had my boy sign contracts requiring them to meet certain academic standards. Yes, I believe one of the faculty members mentioned that. Very interesting scare tactic. Well, in order for that to be successful, I need their teachers to fill out weekly progress reports so I'll know how the boys are doing in their classrooms. Our next faculty meeting is in two weeks. I'll remember to bring it up. Oh, that'd be great. Thank you. Oh, my God. Is he going for the faculty next? Oh, my God. We have a game tomorrow, so get some rest tonight. Remember, ties and jackets tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mr. Cruz, I'm impressed with what you've done. But you came up short. You owe me 80 suicides and 500 push-ups. Wow. I'll do push-ups for him. You said we're a team. One person struggles and we all struggle. One player triumphs, we all try. That's how we do it, man. That's how we do it. Yep, teamwork. I'll do some. I'll run suicides too. Yeah, man, he's in shambles, dude. Oh, he's gonna keep going. Wow, okay. That's it, man. He, he's fighting too, man. He ain't done yet. Dude, he looks like he's barely alive. Yeah, he, he looks like a husk of a, a former human being. What is your deepest fear, young man? going why i keep saying that what's your deepest fear what that mean i'm interested in that too he, it's he, a good question the though the thing is he knows something about him that he doesn't you know Woo! whoa oh nasty man oh, oh my Damn. god yeah <laughs> yeah he doesn't like the whole ego no, he doesn't. Yeah! That's me, baby! That's me! I did that! Hey, coach, yeah. your shoe's untied, sir. Oh, thank you, Mr. Warren. Woo! Look at that bow! Look at that! I tied that! Can I get something on the bow? Let me get something. <laughs> Are you crazy? What's wrong with all of you? Yeah. Yeah. Since when is winning not enough? No. You have to humiliate your opponent. Yep. Damn. What gives you the right to wear Richmond on your chest and act like punks? Coach, they were John too. So? You can't show some class? Act like a champion? Ooh, damn. Ooh. Ooh. You owe me 500 push- I like that a lot, calling him out, because, you know, when you, you get an ego like that, you, you're going to start slacking. Uh, sorry, this is Betty. Bella. Bella, Bella. <laughs> Oof. Oof. 
Oh, oh no. no, buddy. Not in class and got the name wrong. Jeez. God, man. Don't see Junior battle. The battle is like a, uh, a solar eclipse. We... Oh, God. Oof. Damn. So, academically, they've done nothing. They never expected him to uh, actually look into it. Yep. Now, have your schedules, and I'll be getting reports from your teacher. If you don't perform in the classroom, you will not play. Yeah, what's up with that? All right. That's 500 push-ups. This is bullshit! We won those games, not you! Right, that's 1,000 push-ups for Mr. Battle, Clyde. Young man, hmm. think about the choice you're making if you walk out that door. To the baseline! Because he wants to give them a future. He wants them to go further than just, you know, yeah. sad, high school basketball. Sad reality is basketball isn't enough. Your job is to win basketball games, Mr. Carter. Your job is to educate these kids. I suggest you start doing yours. Oh! Oh my, oh my God! God! Yo, he just woo, annihilated. I'm sorry for what I said and did at practice, and I promise to get caught up in my classes, sir. Look me in the eye, sir. You owe me 1,000 push-ups and 1,000 suicides before you can play. Thank you, sir. It doesn't feel like a punishment anymore, because like, they do that all the time. Yeah. It's just another day, but... Another day of training. But you can see how he struggled with reading. He's probably just really scared. He's and, scared to he's scared to figure out how far behind he is. And he's insecure about how far behind he is too. Yep. You just want to go to college, play ball, and forget about me. Kira, that's not even how You got everything figured out, right? So tell me what comes next. He brings up such valid points, like... He is. It's not just so clear-cut and simple. No, it's... Having a kid requires a lot of preparation. Not only that, responsibility. Exactly. And sacrifices. Exactly, and things he doesn't want to do. What an interesting sign. The Oilers are all right. <laughs> Uh-oh. Sit down and cry. Sit down and cry. Okay, we got one more. We got one more. Let's go. Ooh. Yeah. Get your asses out of here. Damn. Oh, he's, he's panicking, man. Oh, yeah. The coach is like, I don't know what the hell's going on. Do something, please. A mental breakdown's happening. Oh. Oh. Yo, that was kind of, uh, that was a foul there, man. Oh. We did it. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Whoa! Wow. That was a leap and a half! God damn, he was flying! Holy crap, man! Nice game, nice game. Nice game. Fuck! <laughs> he's pissed. Yeah, he's gonna go scream and cry later. The championship trophy to Richmond High School. Nice. That's how we do it out here, man. We get a trophy. We get a trophy and shit. Ooh, here comes the moment of truth. The progress reports. Hey. That's it. The most important thing. Oh, no! I think the lesson learned is that you know you can't force people to uh to change to change or to like do better for themselves if they don't want to you know to an extent it has to be their own decision yep yeah i don't even know where the library is even at oh he even chained it 
is one way to do it. Oh, yeah. The ultimatum. You gotta, like, drill it into their skulls now. You need to lock on the gym and force them to meet you in the library. Are you crazy? Miss Garrison, I'm surprised you know where my office is. Woo! Both you and I know that for some of these kids, this basketball season will be the highlight of their lives. Well, I think that's the problem. Don't you? Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Mm. Oh, that really shut her up. Holy crap. Oh, he's taking it to that next level. The game is canceled. It's kind of like he doesn't want to make them just great basketball players. He wants to make them great men. Pretty much that is it. That's all. He wants to set them up to actually have some sort of success in their lives. So that when they do leave school, they're not at a massive disadvantage. Because you can't. Have a, or at least they have a future plan for themselves rather than you can't ending up like. You can't stay in high school forever. Like, that's exactly the reality that. of it, you know? The thing is, high school barely matters, dude. It's not a. High school does not matter. It, what matters is what you do after it. Yeah. I have a feeling something bad is going to happen. Something bad always happens. Oh shit! Yo, run away, bro. Oh god, Don't go no. running with a gun, you absolute buffoon. Ready? Oh my god. No, boys, please. You don't want to get caught up. I thought it would have been one of them, but like. That's why I was getting worried when they were running on over. I was like, please, no. Yeah, but goddamn. Hey man, in that lifestyle, it's bound to happen, that's it. It's part of the, it's, you know, high risk, high reward kind of thing, right? Yeah, it's not about if, it's when. Exactly. What the hell happened? Rennie, they shot Rennie. Come inside, son. What? Come on. Oh, man. No, come on. <laughs> I can't believe they shot Just come inside now, alright? Come on. You saw firsthand what that lifestyle gives you, man. Yep. Mr. Carter. Does the lockout include practices and games? That includes practices and games until we as a team reach the agreed upon GPA. Basketball's the only thing that these boys have got. Now, are we gonna let Carter take that away from them? But that's the problem. Yeah. It shouldn't be all that they've got. Why limit yourself to one thing when you can be great at many things? If you vote to end the lockout, you won't have to terminate me. I'll quit. <laughs> Wow. Feels so weird that people don't get his point. Some people just don't understand. You know? Some people don't want to understand. Yeah. I like how he just sticks to his guns. It's my way or no way. It's not even that, but it's just like he's a doer. You know? Yeah. He's not just words. We've decided we're going to finish what you started, sir. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. Sir, I just want to say thank you. You saved my life. Oh, man. That was beautiful. Yo, that guy, wait a second. Is it me or he looked a little too old to be on that There was court? one white guy that looked like he was like yeah. 40. What the hell? It looks like he has a wife and a child already, man. Yeah, and that child's 18. <laughs> oh, damn. That's how we do it out here, man. I like every time the coach is a good game and they look so pissed. Yeah. <laughs> Without you, nothing good feels as good. I'm missing some happy part of me. That's a good start. Very good start. I got you something. And it ain't from the 99 cent store. <laughs> Shut up. 
gave you a scholarship? Yeah, baby, a full oh ride. Oh, my gosh. Whoa! No, we gonna kill it up. I told them about you and the baby. They want to help us. There's no more baby. Ooh. I had a choice to make, so I made it. Why didn't you tell me? I, I would have gone with you. I'm so sorry. We're really low seed. Who'd we get, Coach? St. Francis. Even more reason to whoop their asses. Yeah. Underdogs. That's it, man. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! It's getting worse and worse. All right, hands in. Who's gonna win this game? One, two, three, race it! Let's go! All right, hype him up. Solid advice. <laughs> Woo! Clean, absolutely clean. We coming back. <laughs> Woo. Woo! Get your ball out of here. Yo, man, that guy went sliding. Oh my God. Yo, he dude. is not having it. He's dude. so impatient. Oh my God. Dude, that coach! <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, hey, get out of my way, man. Get off. Hey, let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Attitude problem. That's when the team collapses. Yep. <laughs> no. Sometimes, that's what happens, man. And here comes the greatest lesson of all. When you're so used to winning now, it's uh, those losses yep. that really determine you, will define you. I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> You've achieved something that some people spend their whole lives trying to find. I am so proud of you. Hmm. Richmond? Rich what? Richmond. Rich what we love! Richmond! Rich what? Richmond! Watch the music and have a man. Listen instead of this unless it's from a grown man. And now nice! Wow, let's go! That's great! Nice. Mm. Nice. Whoa. Nice. Let's go. Okay. Okay. All right, let's go. Woo! Four years, baby. Use it, let it take you away and be home, home. Nice. Damn, yo, let's go. That is nice. 
All right, man. Good movie. Solid movie, man. Solid movie. So we just finished watching Coach Carter, and I genuinely love the movie. I, I love the messages throughout it entirely, and I really do feel like it's something a lot of people could look at and really gain a perspective on. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot to learn here. I really liked uh, Coach Carter's whole like uh, philosophy and perspective for you know the boys to basically set them up to actually have some kind of future in their lives. Yeah, I like that. He like you. The main message is, is that sure you can play high school basketball, but what else are you gonna do? You know what happens after that? You know that's not the end of the road. You know it's like the teacher, uh, no, the principal when she came and said, you know, you know, all the basketball, high school basketball is gonna be like the highlight of their lives. And he was like, that's the problem. And it's like, yeah, that shouldn't be the highlight of your life. You're mm -hmm. literally, what, they were like 16, 17 years old? Yeah. The highlight of your life is at 16 and 17 years old. That's sad. That is you know? very sad. You should be expected to have many more highlights in your life. You mm -hmm. know, it shouldn't just end there. Yeah, that's what he did. He essentially just set them up to succeed in the fu yeah, their you, futures. You want the better futures. Because, you know, realistically, not everyone plays ball forever. You know, that, yeah. that just isn't realistic. And not everyone's going to go pro. You know, that, that entirety, that whole team, not everyone can go pro. And they even showed at the end, only six of them were able to get a scholarship and move on to greater things. Yeah, they went to in college. In terms of basketball and whatnot, you know? And some of them even end up doing something else later on, you know? Yeah, that, that, that's the realism of it. Like, just because you can play ball doesn't mean you have a certified future in it in itself. Yep. You know? Like, you have to have other things that you have to be good at. Like, you can't just, like be an athlete i think that was the greatest thing that he taught them like you know you have to be educated as well yeah. you know you have to be smart yeah he said no a lot of people think there's only brains and then there's bronze and it's like no you can have brains and bronze you know you could dual wield these things and have them you know mm -hmm. having the two of them put together that's a wombo combo right there why be one when you can be both yeah right set yourself with two advantages instead of having only one exactly that and I really like that. You know, a lot of the psych and, well, the other characters as well, the, the, the kids themselves. Oh, Cruz was an amazing character. In the beginning, I absolutely hated him. Every time he was on the screen, I'm like, get him out of here, okay? Yeah. I don't want to see his face. Mm -hmm. But he redeems himself. You know, he finally realizes that he wants to play basketball. Not just that, but he wants to have a future after, you know, I think it was his cousin? Was it his cousin? I'm pretty sure it was his cousin got think, smoked. Yeah, his cousin got shot, and then he realized, oh, that's the path I'm headed down right now. You know, he saw his future right there in and front of his eyes. He was aware of it the entire time, too. Like, oh, that's why he was so envious and jealous when they won their first game. He's like, oh, you guys suck. You know, that was the worst ball ever. Because yeah. he wishes he could have been there it for that the victory. It was classic envy right there, dude. Mm -hmm. He wanted to be the ones. He wanted to be part of the team. You know, he wanted to be yep. winning. And that's why when you succeed in life, there's going to be those people hating on you. It's because they're jealous. They wish it could be them succeeding. Exactly. You know, that's what... That's exactly it. Most haters are just jealous. Yep. You know, and they don't know how to really, like... The deal with that. Yeah. So they just think, They oh. project themselves onto you. Exactly that. Mm -hmm. You know, so don't take haters too seriously. In life, you're going to have haters. Don't take them seriously, all right? They're no. just a bunch of losers. Pretty much. All right? That's how it is. They're Cruz before he became cool. Yep. And I really like that, you know, like you said, after getting smoked, like... It was a clear calling, and I, I liked how even Coach Carter, like, really saw, like, you know... Even though he did technically quit again walked out you know the circumstances were quite different i like how he he kind of did have a more leniency towards that well yeah you know like, it was completely understandably you know, the situation was different he was talking yeah because he it, it, it was different it was a big difference than oh i don't want to study this is bullshit it was more so like i've come to you know it's kind of like he finally realized in life what's important and what's not. Yeah. Kind of thing. It's sad to say it took such an extremity to like Sometimes finally be like, does. oh, yeah, it's a sad reality for a lot of people. It takes like the most extreme situation yeah. for them to be like, oh, I shouldn't be doing this anymore. This is bad. Yeah. Sometimes you just need like a an awakening of sorts. A good you know, kick in the ass. Yeah, you need like, sometimes a traumatic experience can give you a, a kick in the ass in the right direction, sad to say. Some people need it though. To actually like progress and become better people, sometimes you need to go through hard times in order to become a better person or to realize that you can be a better person. Oh man, and the quote that Cruz said, yeah, you know, what is our greatest fear? You know, is uh, what was it that we are powerful beyond uh, measure or something like yeah. that? I can't remember the entirety of the quote, but it was so beautiful, man. That was incredible. I really like that. I have to go look it up who said it and uh, where it's from and whatnot. Very good quote. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of other characters were really good. I liked about uh, I can't remember. I, 
I can't remember his name though. The one with the girlfriend who was pregnant. I thought he was a very good character. I feel like a lot of people can relate to him. You know, he was about to have a child at a very young age. You know, he made some mistakes and whatnot. Got a little too frisky without protection. You know, which is something that happens in high school a lot more than you would think. All right, it's like, realistically, you're kids. You're not going to make the right decisions all the time. Oh, and you're going to make really bad ones. Okay, 100%. that's just and how that's it is. That's a really bad mistake too, might I add. You know? you know, no kid, no 16 year old, 17 year old is ready to raise a child. God, You're, no. And when you talk to, you know, when he was talking to her, trying to communicate with her, telling about their lives and whatnot, you know, going to live paycheck to paycheck. You see your cousin with two kids. You think that's the life? That's the shit? And it's like, no, it's horrible. And I kind of like how he was it, trying to bring her, trying to not tell her what she wanted to hear, but what she needed to hear. You know, he's bringing her back down to earth, you know. Yeah, realism. because she was so overly positive about it. And I was just thinking, like, you know, you got to think it out properly. There, there's uh, very few pros to, to having a child that there young. There are no pros. I'm going to be real with you. There's not like, a lot of pros. It's very hard, you know? How are you going to, like, basically have a life for this kid? How are you going to pay for the kid? How are you going to go get an education? You know, at some point... How are you going to get Yeah, like, how are you going to get an education that, and you're, provide? You're not just that, but your family are already not well off. You add a child into the mix, and how are you supposed to provide for this child when your family's already not doing well? And how are you able to do bigger and better things and get a career that has great pay and whatnot well, if you're stuck with a child? I don't know. It just again, it's the very idea that it is possible. People do it and they do come and they do their best and they and they work it out. But it's difficult, and you, you don't know, have to nothing... have that difficulty in life right now. Yes. You know, you're not ready for it. You're there's not, nothing wrong with this saying, "Hey, think... you know what? I can't deal with this right now." It's not appropriate, you know? It's something like, it's you know, somewhat, children are for the future. Yeah, it's somewhat understanding the limits of what you can handle, you know? Sometimes it's the more mature thing Yeah, because you have to think of it from the perspective that, you know, it's not fair to you guys to basically have to make so many sacrifices where you, you haven't even gotten to live your life yet. It's just starting. Not even that, but... But it's not even fair to the kid to be exactly. into an environment where the parents aren't... Well, they're not ready. You know, they don't understand the what they're doing. The child's sadly going to suffer to some extent. Yeah, because it's just kids raising a kid. Yeah, you know, it's they're very tough. They're not ready, and it's it's a very uh, it's a difficult situation, man. Yeah. You know, and I like how at the end she said, "I made my decision." You know, she made it to, it's to not have it. It's because he had a real conversation with her, and he and he, and he kept asking her, "Then what? Then what?" Yeah. No answer. No yeah, like, answer. Wh like, what are you gonna it's, do for that's this? That's the thing. Like, so it's like she never thought about it properly, and when she thought about it properly. She understood it was the right decision to make. You know, sad to say, but it was the right decision to make in her current circumstances, you know? Yeah. Sometimes that's just how it is. And what was it also? Um, the other character there who was very, uh, he wasn't the brightest, the very tall guy. The guy was very, uh, he was very gifted. I know his last name is Battle. Yeah. Again, another great character, you know? He never wanted to do the studying and whatnot just because he was ashamed of his own He was insecure. You know, you know? And it's it's... It's understand again. It's the same problem where people today, they are afraid to suck at things, and, and you to know, show it. And instead of in some way improving it, I'm not saying become a genius. I'm saying just improving it Improve to become yourself. better. You don't got to be the best if you suck at it. Just yep. be a little bit better at it. You know, that's, it. that's all it is. But he was so insecure about how bad it, he was at it, he would rather just not do it at all. Exactly. That's it. He'd rather not deal with the shame, deal with the the, the, it's the too, hard. It's too hard to do. It's too yep. hard to get better at this. You know, you got to do it. All right. If you you know in that circumstance, when it comes to school, you have to do it. You have to get graduate. You have to get out of there. Yeah. At some point, you don't want to be trapped in high school forever. Sadly, you can't be in high school forever. No. We all age at some point. Yeah. They will have to throw you out at some point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're so gonna like, get rid of you. You kind of have to be like. I feel like it's a big problem for a lot of kids, men in general, with high school. They're just not ready for the real world. Well, no, t high school doesn't teach you how to be ready for the real world. They don't prep you at all. No, sure man. You have a, sure, they give you a basic understanding of, like, knowledge or whatnot, like history, geography, and some other stuff. That I do think is good, but I feel like they need a class that to really come in and tell kids, you know, what to expect for the real world. You know, not just that, but some kids leave high school. They don't know how to cook. They don't know how to clean. They have no idea. Where do you even begin with taxes? They don't even know. You yeah. should have a class to kind of prep them, you know, teach them how to... Because, you know, when they leave it, it's time to... Yeah. Like, most of them just to find their first job, in a sense. Yes. You know, and, you know, taxes, pain in the ass, hate them. Uh, yeah. And the thing is, you can use the excuse, oh, that's the, you know, the parents' job to teach them. It's sad to say that, you know, just like, you know, life, good people, bad people, 
good parents, bad parents. You can't expect you can't expect every child to have a parent that's good who's going to be teaching them th- these uh, them these things. Yeah, they might not have it. They might not have that privilege. They might have bad parents who don't give a shit. You know, where they're just like, go to school, do whatever, do what you can, turn out like me, kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, pretty much. You know, so there's also that. There's a lot of factors that come into play. I don't think there's an easy way to fix that issue. Uh, nah. Education system, heavily flawed. We're learning a bunch of shit we don't need, like uh, trigonometry and other bullshit. Who cares? Shapes, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> Fuck shapes. Yeah, if I could put the square on the square, I'm doing fine, okay? I don't even know whether the longitude or the latitude or whatever bullshit anymore about my shapes, okay? I don't need that. The circumference, I don't care. Fuck circles and spheres. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, heavily flawed. There's no real way to fix that, or there is, but it takes too much time. You know, I think that's the problem. It, like to actually find solutions to these issues, it would take a tremendous no, I, amount of effort and time. Again, I think I just made an excuse for it. It takes too much time. I, I, it will take a lot of time, but at some point we'll have to start because I think it's getting worse. Yeah, you you could tell. That's a discussion for another time. Yeah, Not, that's definitely. way too much to that's talk about. That's way too deep. We're, we're right? already at eleven minutes. We're at eleven minutes. This was about a basketball movie. We're, all right, we're cutting that. But that's the beauty of, of these sports films. I you know, like, yes, it, the sports is basically the foundation. But around it is the story of the characters that really... And the messages that are told throughout it. That really shine brighter. Yes. You know, you basketball know. is just a, a foundation to, to have the story told. Exactly. And I like that. It's similar to Rocky, you know? It's not about winning. It's about going the distance. Mm-hmm. I, I love those movies, man. That's what it's all about. We don't need winners. We need people who are trying hard. That's what we need. People who try so hard that even when they lose... They don't quit and they keep trying to win again. Because at some point they will become winners. Yeah, because that's the winner attitude. You don't give up even you, if you, you don't lost. give up. You know, no. Losing is only learning. That's all it is. You're learning to win when you lose. That's it. And a lot of people need to learn that. And I think we're going to leave it there. I think it's a great note. We're going way too long. And I'm just going to end it fast. Yep. Woo!